Well, let's ask the economics correspondent and an expert we have in the studio, Neil Marriott. I would agree with Tom. I don't think there's anything here uh, for students to really vote in favour of. Something along those lines, and Kelly Nick Clegg was looking for the youth vote. Uh, I don't think I agree with colleagues here that there's any likelihood that student fees are going, are going to be scrapped. Honestly, and those, those areas in Manchester and in Sheffield, huge Labour strongholds. How, how much of an effect is this going to have on Gordon Brown and his, and his Labour Party? And also, just to let you know, Radio Solent will be running a piece on us very, very soon indeed. If you're in their catchment area, please do tune in and uh, talk about us. We're also on Hospital Radio Basingstoke as well, so congratulations to everybody Sorry, there. Our please. political editor, Tom Hobbs, joins me in the studio here. I've always Tom been a great advocate of Trident. If you go to Scotland... Got outside broadcast for you now. Kaylee. what's the latest? OK, we're well, back with Luke in Southampton for a quick update. Luke, what's going on? Well, we've seen the, uh, the count start for both Southampton Itchen and Southampton Test. Um, Southampton Romsey uh, will not be uh, counted here, unfortunately. I'd no. like to say we're going to go pass over to one of our outside broadcast units right now. We're going up to Buckingham, the constituency where Nigel Farage obviously had his plane crash earlier today and John Burko, the speaker, was standing. Kayleigh. Let's go over to Buckingham. The scene is clear from our snapshot poll that City MP and Common Speaker John Burko has comprehensively beaten off frenzy challenge of UKIP's Nigel Farage. Well then, the technology worked last time. Let's see if it's going to work this time as well. Kaylee, what's going on? Thanks, Ben. We're going to go back to Stu and Winchester for a quick update. Um, Stu, are there any developments right now? Hi, welcome guys. Well, it's getting busy here. Um, one of the main candidates has, has arrived, Liberal Democrat Martin Todd. I've just seen him strong. I have the first result of the night for you here. The Labour vote in Sunday. Sunderland South and hearing the votes would have disappointed Cameron slightly. He wouldn't have been expecting too much movement there. Surely they were expecting Labour to take that seat and the vote proves that uh, Brown's stronghold has held firm there. Tories picking up 8,147 votes. Well, what is happening with the Liberal Democrats? At one point during this campaign, they were in front in all of the polls, and their leader, Nick Clegg, was far more confident than the, Sir Gr the great Sir Winston Churchill. Well, it's all about UKIP at the moment. Just hearing they lost out to Halton and Sunderland South, failing to dent Labour's hold, and it only gets worse, I'm afraid. Uh, as you've already heard from our guys in the studio... Uh, people queuing at polls in Sheffield and in Manchester. Scenes like that have been repeated also in constituencies in London. In Hackney, there was, in fact, a sit-in. People protesting that they can't vote. Sorry. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger has telephoned David Cameron to congratulate him after the exit polls were announced. The Twitter feed says, just called at David Cameron to congratulate him on the victory. Even though results aren't in, we know the Conservatives had a great day. He'll be back, don't worry about that. Anyway, the newspapers have been full of speculation that since the election date was announced. Let's go to our media correspondent, Rebecca Gray, for a newspaper roundup. Rebecca. The mail ends by reflecting on the years of new Labour and not in a positive light. The Guardian has got behind the Lib Dems, but their front page shows the Tories' eight-point lead in the final Tonight, poll. I'm going to put you on the spot, and I do apologise for this. What way do you see it going? Well, it's for a, 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 short, a small Conservative majority, and I'll, 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 stick, I'll stick by that. You know, very bad result for business to have a hung parliament like that. You know, we, we all know we've got bad medicine to take, and we just don't know who's going to give it to us. So. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back after this break.